over there, back with more video channels as promised. This time, I'm at the Kutub Minar. Come on, let's explore the complex together. Amazing! The Kutub Minar stands 72 meters tall. It is the tallest minaret in India. One would need to climb 379 steps to reach the top. Who made this incredible tower? There were three kings that built different parts at different times. Kutubuddin Aibak built the first part around 800 years ago. He was also the founder of the slave dynasty. Sadly, he could not complete the minar and died after building the first story. They say he was thrown off his horse while playing polo. His slave Il Tutmish, who ruled after him, built the second two stories. And finally, many years later, Firoja Tughlaq renovated and added the last bit, since lightning had damaged the tower. Did you know that Qutub Minar is not completely made of red sandstone and marble? It is made of the regular stone you see here, but was dressed with sandstone and marble. Over there, I wonder what is written on the walls. The sandstone walls of the minar contain verses from the Quran. Wow, that's cool! Also read that the Qutub Minar was named after Qutubuddin Bakhtiar Kaki, a Sufi saint and not Qutubuddin Eba. Oh really? I thought of building something so that I could just name it there. <laughs> no one really knows why Eba decided to build this minar. It could be for calling out prayers since it stands next to a mosque. Yes, it could be. The minar does not stand alone. It stands a part of the Qutub complex. This includes the Qatul Islam Mosque, the Lai Minar and the tombs of Il Tutmish and Alauddin Khilji. There are again three kings that contributed to building this complex. Qutubuddin Aibak, Il Tutmish and Alauddin Khilji. The entire complex was built on the ruins of Kila Rai Pithora, Prithvira Chauhan city. In 1192, Qutubuddin Aibak defeated Prithvira Chauhan and became the first Sultan of Delhi. Often kings destroyed and plundered what was there before building their own. It was to ensure that they left a mark. What egos! Both the Qutub Minar and the Kuwatul Islam Mosque were built by Qutubuddin Aibak. He demolished 27 Hindu and Jain temples to build this mosque. Oh there, did you know Fatul Islam means the might of Islam? This was the first mosque in Delhi and one of the oldest in the country. Look, some of the stones and pillars in the mosque came from the temples he destroyed. You can see the pillars contain carvings of human figures, flowers, kalash, and other Hindu symbols. Here's another interesting monument in the complex, the famous Iron Pillar. It is over 1600 years old and shows no sign of rust. Isn't that amazing? The pillar has inscriptions in Brahmi script. It is believed that the pillar was made during the time of the Gupta Empire. People believe that if your arms can reach around the pillar while standing with your back to it, your wish will come true. Oh there, what is this? It looks a bit unfinished. This is the Alai Minar, built by Alauddin Khilji, the third contributor in the complex. He won many wars and wanted to celebrate his victories by building a tower twice the size of the Qutub Minar. This was not to happen. He died after building just one story. The structure was never completed. His plans were cut short by his death. Funny how both first builders died after building one story. 
<laughs> you can call it the one story curse. The Qutub Minar is one of the three UNESCO World Heritage Sites in India. Meher, isn't it truly grand? That's all for today. We'll be back with more soon. Until then, keep exploring!